Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video on how we set up for USB recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this view button to bring up the USB recorder. And um, normally you're gonna see that. You can see we have some recordings on the right. So I'm just gonna push this page select right here, push it. And then I'll show you how we configured this. So um, in our case, we wanted a vocalist and we wanted the keyboards. So in, in this case, like we've got Alyssa here, that's channel seven. And we've got the keys, that's channel 14. So this is gonna be the voice and uh, channel 14, that's gonna be uh, the keyboard. So up here, in order to feed the recording, we're on this direct out, all right? So um, we're on the left channel here and you can see I scrolled down here to direct out and I scrolled down here to 14, that's gonna be the keys. All right, so once I have that, you know, I'm gonna push that assign right here, assign to 14. If I want it to be 13, I'm gonna put it on 13, assign 14. We want it on 14 because that's a keyboard. Over here, I want it on uh, post fader so that any changes I make in the fader will affect the recording. If you put it on anything else, the changes you make on the main board will not affect the recording. We want it to affect it so that I can use the faders up and down to change um, the input level over here. Um, now I'm gonna get on the right channel here by pressing this button. You'll see it click over and you can see that it's on direct out and it's on channel seven. Channel seven's Alyssa, all right? So that's how basically um, you set up your inputs. And then once they start playing, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna use these, this meter over here to make sure that the keyboard, which is on the left, is right between the green and the yellow. And then we're gonna make sure that the vocalists are a little higher. So we want, we want Alyssa tickling like the first yellow or two when we do that. We're ready to record. We'll go back to this and it's just as simple. Sorry, got my finger in the way there. Just as simple when we're ready is pressing this record button. You can see uh, basically it's got, you know, like here's that, there's this, like we're just, when we're ready, we're just gonna press record. And when we're done with the recording, we're gonna press stop. So that will record the tracks and then when it's done, it will actually populate over here. And that's that. So I'm going to pause this, and after we're done recording, I'm going to show you how the recording uh, populated.